Looking at the beautiful scenery here in the northern part of the West Bank, the last thing you'd expect to come across is this. These are coal production sites of which the sole purpose is to produce coal for barbecues around the world. The process of making coal has not changed since the Bronze Age and involved taking wood, which in this case come from deceased citrus trees in the region, piling it into heaps and covering it in hay and earth, then letting it slow burn for 21 days. These burning piles of wood generate a constant flow of smoke, which has a considerable impact on the environment and health of the people living in the area. I've met with an environmental specialist of the region to find out more about the ramifications of this issue. So, May, can you tell us a little bit about how these coal sites affect the surrounding areas? عملية إنتاج الفحم بتم من هذا الموقع اللي هو المفاحم التقليدية اللي من هاي المفاحم أو المشاحر بنبعث الغازات السامة اللي بتلوث الجو وبتلوث اللي هي المنطقة وبتصيب البني آدم أو المواطنين بشكل عام في المنطقة بأمراض منها مرض السرطان التلوث بيؤدي إلى تلوث الجو تلوث اللي في عندك الجرزة وكمان طبقة الأوزون وإصابة المواطن بالأمراض عدة أمراض With the growth of the industry in recent years, the problem has worsened, causing demands from both the Israeli and Palestinian public to close the sites down. But this is not so simple, as for the people who work there, making coal is both a long-standing family tradition and their only source of income. يعني أنا وأهلي وولادتي كلياتهم نشتغل فيها طبعا هي تراثية يعني على زمن تركيا موجودة تقدر تكون صناعة الفحم هون في كلب يعباد من 1935 But I've met people in the region who say that the pollution level is making their lives unbearable هاي البخاخات مش بدور بشكل من مرة إذا نحن كل البلد اللي بخربة مريحة عندنا البدو اللي عمره سنة اللي عمره خمسة اللي عشرة عنده أزمة عنده ربو هذا حرام آه حرام لا 70% من اولاد يعبد كلهم عندهم ضيقه نفس نشاط من الشغل هذا يعني ان ها جانا زرع دخان بخرب من الدخين الزيتون بخرب من الدخن كل الاولاد اللي بيشتغلوا على المشاحر اولادهم متضررين بالسرطانات وعندهم امراض بس بيخفوهم مش سبب انه الماديات ايوه هذا مهند مهند اكتشفنا المرض عنده في خي... من هو عمره سبع سنين ونفس الشيء تعالج جوا في اسرائيل فاهم كيف وشت الشعر راسه ونفس الشيء والحمد لله برضه ربنا شفاء ونفس الوقت اخرى جاري في الزبط يعني البيت على البيت وعنده ولد برضه نفس الشيء خلق مولود في السرطان هون فاهم كيف اه والله واحنا بنتامل بمجهودكم ان شاء الله ان شاء الله نعمل عملوا لنا حل International organizations are aware of this complex issue and have been trying to find a solution. I went to meet Alex Snarry, the director of World Vision in the region. So we've been working with the communities in that area for approximately the last four years. And it's very clear this is a huge issue for communities. This is a, a stable industry for those communities and very important for local livelihoods. At the same time, the health impact to people uh, is terrible. The rate of uh, respiratory illness and that among these uh, charcoal workers is extremely high. The impact right through that area in terms of the environment um, is huge. So it's one that we're very interested in and uh, I know it's a strong interest among local community and that we really want to commit to do something about. So what can be done? The civil administration has joined forces with the international community and sent a team to Slovakia to investigate solutions. A new technology is currently being tested in the hope that it will be the answer to preserving people's livelihoods whilst limiting the environmental impact. It's one that is doable, but it's doable if everybody involved coordinates and cooperates. You can't look at the environment as a local issue, ultimately. The environment affects us all. And uh, if we can reduce uh, environmental impact for global warming and, and on a global scale, then that's got to be good for everyone.